turkeys and masochists to be tuning in. The rest of us, we're going to opt for videos of the weddings of the ones that got away. Probably a little easier to watch. Cardinal fans, you should send Prince Fielder a thank you card since it was his all star game homer that gave the cards home field advantage. They owe him that much. As for Prince, he owes us nothing. Nothing. All I really want out of athletes is their best effort on the field and to at least act in a non embarrassing way off it. Check and check for Fielder, who played in more consecutive games than any player to wear a Brewers uniform. Off the field, the closest thing to a scandal is that not everybody's buying that vegan thing. When seen in public, he's described as shy and non assuming. It's no wonder we'll see number 28 jerseys in the stands of Miller Park for years to come. We just probably won't see it on the guy playing first, whoever that turns out to be. Again, he owes us nothing, but if he leaves, I want to hear the words. I want to hear him say, folks, nothing personal, but I'm getting all that I can. Some begrudge him for that, saying, how much money can one guy have? That, by the way, is usually asked by people who have never been in the position to turn down tens of millions of dollars more. When Paul Molitor left to win a, a, win a ring, we wished him well. But Prince can't really use that excuse, can he? This is a team that could be, in fact, should be contending for the World Series. He can't say he wants to go play before bigger crowds or more adoring fans because he's already playing in a packed house before people who would literally buy a raffle ticket for a chance to cut his lawn.